It's recommended to go through all these sections to make sure everything's set up according uh, to each facility. So the first step is the system parameters. Once we go into here, we want to make sure we have the correct unit we want selected, rather it be Courier Becquerel. Uh, the detector 1 and 2 should already be set accordingly to the order. Uh, the report header should match typically the facility's address. So what we'll do here is we look, put in our address. So the report header typically in the field when installed, the address would be located at the top three lines, nuclear medicine department on the fourth line, and then the serial number of the system on the bottom line. Uh, the serial number for the system would also be located at the top, and that should match the serial number that is on the isolation transformer at the bottom of the stand. Once we have that information in here, press done. That is our system parameters. Our next step is to enter the check source and chi-square setup. So at this point we want to make sure that this information for cesium matches the information that's on our test source. So we're going to match that information. Then you want to check your chi-square settings. Uh, typically it's set at 60 seconds for 10 repetitions. Depends on the facility, but that would be the most common setting for chi-square. MDA test, the same thing would be decided by the facility. What isotope they would want to look for for their MDA test. Uh, the source must have an efficiency measured in order to select it for the MDA test. Once that's all set, you can click on Done. That. You can click on done. And now we can perform the calibration to make sure we're getting successful calibrations on both detectors. So we'll click on that. And here will be your main screen for doing your calibration. You have your option over here with which detector you'd like to calibrate. And then you, once you decide what detector you're calibrating, we're going to do start procedure. So. What we're going to do is start with the probe. So we're going to get the probe into place and then loosen the screw and turn the pointer rod out of the way to begin our calibration. So what we'll do now is click on start procedure and the software will prompt you through each step. It's telling us to position cesium in the probe. So for the probe, you want to get your source holder, place it down into the probe, there's a lip which catches this, prevents it from hitting the detector, causing any damage to the detector. Once you have that lined up, you'll grab your cesium source with your black tip down, position it into the center, and you want to make sure that that tip, you can feel it touching the detector down into the probe. Once that's in position, you can click OK to calibrate and you will see your spectrums and it will make adjustments to the spectrum until it's uh, successfully calibrated. Once the calibration is successful and it finishes the calibration with cesium, it will ask us to perform linearity with your europium source. So you want to grab your europium source, remove the cesium, place the europium source into the probe with the black tip down again. Once that's in place, we can click on yes to perform the linearity. 
Once we have the source lined up, we can continue on with the linearity and we can position the source into the probe. Click on OK. That's going to calibrate our europium and give us a linearity result. And run calibration on the well. So when we do start procedure, it's going to tell us position cesium in the well detector now. At this time, we can remove our europium source that was in our probe and then also our source holder and put an e-holder for the time being. And now that we're calibrating the well counter, we're going to take off the top lid. Now we can get the cesium source and position it into the well. Again, we want the black tip down, place it into the well. Once the source is in place, we can click OK. And now we're going to do the calibration on the well. Once the calibration for cesium is completed, we're going to do linearity on the well detector now. OK, so now that the calibration is complete, we're going to do linearity with europium. So remove the cesium source and position your europium source into the well. Again, black tip down. Once in position, we can click yes to linearity and then OK to start the calibration. To measure the efficiency of check source. What we do now is measure efficiency once again, but this time we're going to select it on the probe detector and have the counting time set at 60 seconds once again. Once the settings are in there and we verify the source information is still correct, click on Next, and again, Start Procedure. We're going to do a background of the probe. So we want to make sure that all the sources are removed from the probe. Once you verify the sources are in the probe, you click on OK. And we'll count the background for one minute on the probe. The background is completed. We're going to accept the background measurement and position the cesium in the probe. So now you'll need your source holder once again for the probe. And we're going to place that into the probe. And now position the cesium source into the probe. Okay. So after we measure the cesium and accept it, we're going to get an efficiency, and the result will be shown there. The result should fall into a 3.17 to 6.33 window. To Measure the efficiency of check source. Now to do that, we'll press click on go. And we want to verify that that source information is still matching what we have on our test source. Again, that should match what's on our label. Once we confirm that it matches, we want to select the detector that we're going to measure the efficiency for. In this case, we're going to click on well, and we're going to do a counting time and enter 60 seconds. Once we have that time in there, we're going to go to next, and then we're going to go to start procedure. Once we click on start procedure, it's going to tell us the background, please remove all sources from the area. test source. And now we can click on OK. At this point, it's going to count the live time for 60 seconds at the top corner, and then we'll measure the background, and then we'll go to the next step.
Once the background's finished counting, we're going to click on yes to accept the background. And now we're going to position our cesium source in the well. Once again, you'll get your source with the black tip down. Place it into the well. Once in place, we can click on OK. Once the cesium is completed, it's counting. Click on yes to accept the measurement. And you'll see a result for your efficiency. For the well detector, you should see an efficiency of 8.3 to 16.6 is an expected value. So once you're within limits, that would be your current efficiency for cesium on the well detector. Once that is done, you can then exit. That would be to perform the constancy test. So we'll go to that location. And now we do uh, select the detector you'd like to calibrate, check, and then do start procedure. And it's telling us position cesium in the probe, which is already in there at this point. We're going to click on OK. And we want our deviation to be plus or minus 5% for a successful constancy check. check the constancy for the well. So we click on start procedure and now we position the cesium in the well. Once that's positioned we'll click OK and perform the constancy. Completed. Now we're within our plus or minus five percent, so we're complete. We're finished with the constancy check, and you can click on exit. The next step is we're going to set up the thyroid protocols prior to using the system. Okay. So we're going to click on the thyroid uptake protocol, and we're going to go to add. This is where the user will add their standard protocols. In this case, we're just going to add an I-123 uptake. And we're going to select I-123, the capsule form. We're going to use the counting method as the K correct administered dose. We're going to set it as two repetitions, meaning that it will count twice during each uptake. And then for dose administered, we're going to Select those measured is the one we administer. Once we have that complete, we click on done. We now have a protocol added for the your thyroid uptake to be ready to perform studies with patients. So in the thyroid uptake screen, we've already added a protocol, which is still in there from the initial setup. We're now going to do a general setup for the study. Here is where we're going to enter the normal ranges for your typical uptakes. An example, for a four hour uptake, we might see 5 to 15 percent, and for a 24, we might see 10 to 30 percent. Uh, counting time can be set by the facility. Uh, at this case, it's going to be 60 seconds at 25 centimeters. Uh, calibration time of 12 o'clock, which we'll cover. Uh, that's in reference to the capsules. Uh, the report font size, if you're only doing one uptake, we would recommend a large font. With two uptakes, we recommend the medium font. Uh, that's in, in order to put two uptakes on the one page. So we're going to click on done. Now we can add the patients uh, for the study. To add a patient, you click on the add button. And we're going to enter in all the fields in bold. A few of the fields aren't required, but we're going to fill in the complete 